you for having me. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yes. So there's a number of uh, controversial issues. There are some issues we deem controversial in the country at the moment. For example, the Lamu Coal Project in, uh, in Lamu, yes. the, the Standard Gauge Railway passing through the Nairobi National Park, yes. and uh, a number of issues. So I'd like to hear your thoughts about each and every one of them. For example, yeah. the Lamu Coal Project. The Lamco project, uh, which is occupying almost a thousand acres of land in the, you know, in the coast, the coastal area. Um, the coal, we used to, some time ago, it used to be a major uh, product or the major cause of electricity production in, uh, in country and in Africa and around the world. But one of the things that is not very friendly is environmental aspect or the element of it. It produces a lot of carbon monoxide and a lot of, uh, you know, dangerous pollution as it is being produced. Now, Kenya is thinking of it. This is a project that was supposed to start in 2015. And uh, now we are about 2017. There has been controversies to do with how it is being uh, done. It's because of lack of electricity. The whole thing is because of lack of electricity. And if you connect it further, Mao Forest, they stopped forming and producing electricity from Mario area because of deforestation, because people came to live in the uh, Mao area and the place is being deforestated and uh, there is, you know, the water is not being sustained, the hydro, the water dried up, it's a watershed and then you deforestate it, then the watershed kind of dries up. So it is being done not because it is something that has been discovered or it's the best thing to do. It is to supplement the electricity that we have. I think before we go to the core, because there's a lot of issues that deals with health in terms of cancer, in terms of pollution, in terms of, uh, you know, carrying, you know, some diseases that are chronic, uh, coughing and all that. I think we need to, to do more in terms of research and exploit geothermal alternative. Uh, we are not using a lot of wind from the coastal area because it's open sea. It can produce windmills and uh, for electricity. We also can do plantations of uh, solar plantations. So we haven't done all those and invested on those, uh, but we want quick electricity because we are one of the fastest growing economy. But that is not the right thing. The cost of health is far much more than doing that. So I'd like to see my government will do more of uh, studies to make sure we do cost-benefit analysis. That the cost of producing and the benefit of getting the new electricity, it should be much more than the health. But I think the health cost is a little. Even one health, one body, one person is much far too much for health destruction. What about the standard thing? Yeah. This <laughs> passing through, yes, <clears throat> that's a very serious item. Because Kenya relies on thought recently we have uh, <clears throat> issues to do with uh, tourism, uh, which sometimes have nothing to do with, uh, you know, the standard rail gauge. Uh, and that's a topic for another day because I would like the ambassadors to account for their work performance to make sure they're bringing tourists in the country uh, in terms of index. If they don't perform, they're not going to get the ambassador job. I'm a very serious person when it comes to performance. But railway gauge, it passes through, even if we bring a lot of tourists, tourists what are they going to see? Because the noise pollution itself throws the, the, the animals away. It also can kill people, animals that do not uh, are not comfortable with the, with the noise passing through there. It throws the, because animals are there to balance the ecology, the, you know, to the environment, if you throw them out, it, it, it causes unbalance around the environment. So those things were not connected into it, uh, and we'd like to see how we can control that. Now the standard railway gauge is already there. We will build walls that protect noise pollution. And noise pollution is not just for the animals, it can be for people too. It can cause deafness over time. And uh, also because of uh, pollution, also cancer, breast cancer and other things. We will build walls to, to make sure that uh, along the railway where there is, uh, you know, villages or there is human uh, development alerts, we make sure that noise pollution is, uh, is kept down. Plus also the vehicles inspection, they need to be there constantly to make sure the, 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 the pollution and the exhaustion is not beyond a certain limit. We will measure the carbon uh, dioxide, you know, environmental pollution index to make sure it's according to GGGI 
in the Korean uh, you know, pact that was done to make sure we are at a global level uh, when it comes to environment. I'm very friendly, environment very friendly. I see, I see. Don't, don't you think building more walls will continue eating into the national park? No, no, the, the, yeah, no, the will, the, along the wall, we are not going to put everything along the standard railway gauge. It's going to be areas, drilling areas, and if it is along the park, the, the national parks, there are many places where there's no national park. The thing is just open and the railway can go through, but where there's serious human development, the density is, are, is high, and, and the, the vehicles stop. They, you know, when it is running, the engine is producing a lot of pollution, and if it does that constantly, we can have serious issues. As a matter of fact, one of the things that I want to be able to encourage, and it's going to be serious when it comes to environment, environment along the standard railway gauge, we we'll use a program called uh, G, 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 uh, Geographical Information System (GIS) to make sure we are learning health, the impact of the animals. We do cookie cutting, we do buffering we make sure that we understand the actual impact. This is not something we just have to think. This is something that can be measured in statistics, it can be seen in plain maps, and you want some help? I'm the kind of president who is very practical. I will, I will lead the GIS team. I see. Now, uh, on our, uh, the, the government recently banned the use of politics. Yes. Uh, and that should come to effect next month, August. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. But then we hope you'll be the president. Yes, yes. By August 9th, I think I'll wake up as the president. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. what do you think about the ban? It is we were way behind that. People have moved on, gone beyond there. Because even the heat, because we are along the equator, the heat of uh, the polythene itself constantly is causing carcino carcinogens that cause cancer and other things. And also burning of this. Because a lot of people think burning waste is uh, an easier way of getting rid of it. But if you ban plastic, that kind of pollution is so dangerous to our health. So I'm going to get it affected. We have Kagame has done it. Uh, the, he knows how to do it. We will make sure we, 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 we are, yeah, we benchmark against Kagame. Uh, you leave those things in the airport if you're carrying plastic papers. We can have uh, recyclables like uh, brown papers. So I'm going to make sure that it's effective. And also further, I'm going to go further with the plastic. Uh, we're going to make sure that there's certain kind of plastics that are very dangerous, like the one you see with sodas, plastic sodas, those are very dangerous. And also the ones that are microwaved, a lot of people don't know. You can't microwave certain plastics, they will kill you very easily. So I'm going to go further. You just mentioned the paper. I am going to go maybe 10 times than that. Now, um, uh, the, the leader of the Green Party, UK recently talked about uh, the need to the need to incorporate environmental issues into our development agenda. Yes. And uh, in Kenya, it seems this is something that we are still because we don't seem to be talking about environmental issues so much. You don't hear this during our campaigns, during our policies. When uh, we candidates are camp campaigning, we hear the development agenda, the plans, but then we don't hear. The environment, yeah, the environment is the basis of our development. Of everything. Yes. yes, and you are right. Yes. You are very right. Uh, there isn't a lot of communication or conversation about environment in our, uh, in our campaigns. First, I think because even the politicians themselves do not have uh, good knowledge of what environment is all about. So we need to, 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 to grow the next generation. We need to, uh, to sensitize them since they are, they are, they are young in lower primary schools, going to secondary schools. There needs to be subject of environmental studies doesn't have to be a degree in the university. It needs to start from the beginning. But I would like to see more increased conversation because uh, I'll tell you, it's only about 13% of MCS, current MCS in Kenya, who can actually translate a white paper. So illiteracy in our government institutes is very high. And uh, I would like counties to take that at heart. They will win environmental uh, uh, as part of competition. Of seven counties will actually compete against who is keeping the environmental sustainable uh, development projects. And I will find out where things are necessary. Yeah. Now that you've talked about the counties, mm -hmm. uh, we now have the devolution system. 
How yes. do you think we can capitalize on this devolution to solve the environmental The beauty, the, the beauty, Auditor General, can, they can release the money at a higher level. The beauty about the county is that their budget is something they control. We do not have to tell the counties the line item for the budget. That means a governor can add a line item for environment if they want it. So we will be showing performance of the governors and we will be actually reviewing and using ranking system of which governors are doing what and one of the ranking is going to be environmental ranking, how they are taking care of the environment and we'd like to see that line item in their budget. It is voluntary, they don't have to have it, but if you have it, we can attach it to taxes. In fact, organizations, or if we find organizations in your, in your account, investment organizations, they are having a good index on environment. Guess what they're gonna get? A tax cut. If their carbon um, index is a particular level, you get a tax cut. So there's going to be monetary uh, poor effect. You can't avoid. If you want to mess with the environment, then your tax, you don't get any money back. So there's going to be things you can't even, uh, attractive things that you cannot refuse. Yeah. Okay. Now, <coughs> during conferences, workshops, seminars, most of the time people talk about tackling environmental challenges, but the major impediment has been the lack of political will. Correct. Now, uh, you're looking forward to becoming the president. Yes. How would you ensure that we have this political will so far as... Six point plan, the fifth point, I will be the end of corruption. Because when you talk of the will, is that someone is willing to watch destruction of the environment and may be corrupted so that they don't follow environmental guidelines. If they want to build a building in a particular way, which comes with certain conditions, if they pay a little bit money or kickback, they have to. They can easily forget the environmental part, and they continue. They continue doing those kind of bad things. I will tell you, there will be no corruption in my government because first, I'm not compromised. I am not part of an interest group. I don't belong to cartels, and I only. I only pledge my loyalty to one group of people, which I confess, the Kenyan people, who I will be thinking about them when I go to sleep in White House and when I, in the State House, when I wake up, I'll be thinking about them. So problem of environment, it is lack of the will and corruption. It's not just, I'm not going to do it. There's a lot of corruption. Kenya is not lacking laws. It's because of lack of the will to enforce them. We already have environmental will, uh, I mean environmental laws that we need to enforce, but because of corruption, we are number three in the world ranked for corruption and therefore it doesn't go anywhere because people are getting kickbacks. I will be the end of corruption and therefore environment will be safe with me. Great. Being an academician. Yes, a scholar. A scholar. Yes. Do you think our universities here in Kenya are doing enough to address sustainability? The answer to that question is no. The thing is that curriculums that are in stand, uh, standard level with, uh, with, with, with the global standards needs to be developed. What I mean is that they are not learning by the environment. They are learning what everybody else is learning. The thing is it needs to be in combination like the way I told you. They send the students to be part of the real society, making actual real differences. So our universities needs to be a kind of production machine that they teach our people, sensitize our people, get credit for it instead of reading books. Our, our system in Kenya is very theoretical. Guys, you know, students are in, uh, in, the, in their dormitories or hostels just sleeping and they have extra time. They can use that extra time to earn credit, to do productive things, serve their communities and uh, make sure that uh, our university combines real work, real society and even volunteerism because when it comes to environment, I would like to introduce volunteer system which is lacking in Kenya. Anytime you are told to do anything in Kenya, you say make me do it give me some money. That has, how, when are you going to serve your nation? Environment is the easiest thing you can serve that, that your country with. Picking up garbage, making sure you talk to people the importance of the, of the environment. 
volunteering to teach kids and giving them motivational speaking aspect, learning how to speak publicly. So there's going to be a lot of programs, but they're not going to be forced. It's going to be beautiful. Just taking care of your own country. I miss the times when uh, uh, when uh, some of the presidents like Mo used to say, Kanu or not Kanu, Kenya ni mama yako, or Kanu ni mama yako, making sure the country feels patriotic. And being patriotic is part of the environment, is part of patriotism. Taking care of your own country so that you can take care of it. Very good, Dr. Eric. Thank you very much for being part of this. My fellow Kenyans, again, uh, when it comes to environment, uh, I want to say this is what we call in Kiswahili, Kiswahili, Fikira Zamambo Ya Kawaida. I don't think you know what that means in English. Common sense. Fikira Zamambo Ya Kawaida. Kuwa uwepo wa Fikira Zamambo Ya Kawaida. So it is a common sense to be able to take care of your of your own earth because there's only one earth anyway. When we take care of our earth, the earth will take care of us. It is not something you need to be paid for. It's not something you need to be forced to do. The earth it is an automatic uh, communion between you and the earth, us and the earth. If one does not take care of the other. The other doesn't do it either. And therefore, that union is it's almost a marriage. So I'm asking you to be able to be part or a moving part in making this earth sustainable for our future. It is just beyond you. It is even for your future generation, your children, and the children of their children. So as your president, I pledge that I will be that environmental president. And from today, I promise to play a part in protecting the environment as a leader, as an individual, and I want you to play your part too. So thank you very much. May God bless you. May God bless this nation, the great Republic of Kenya. Thank you. Asante sana, Thank you so much. Say that again. Find a thousand people. <laughs> <laughs> we, we'd like to have a president with an accessibility. Before, yeah, accessibility, I will. That's how I was born. I do not have a name, a lot of money, fame, and 